Mr. Skolansky, can you confirm that these photos are of you and Lisa Frankie? Detective Haley, my client has already confirmed his identity multiple times, and yet you keep dragging us down into this grotto time and time again to no avail. I know. I just need Mr. Skolansky to do so on record. Has anyone ever explained to you the futility of ineffective repetition? You're the first. Good day, Detective Haley. We're leaving. Sit down! Well, this better be good now that we have you on record for harassment. Can you take a look at these and please verify whether or not this is you and Lisa? Where were these taken? They're stills from the surveillance camera of Keith's apartment building. Yes, that's him. And the girl? That's her. I don't see why this means anything. We've already confirmed numerous times surveillance footage of them together. Right, but not these. No, detective, not these. Your point, please? We'll get to that in a second. That night that Lisa Frankie came back to your apartment with you, you told the police that the blood on your bed sheets was menstrual. No, my client did not say that. The Teichman test performed by right? forensic the hemoglobin, did. RBC, and WBC count, along with the low levels of oxygenation, unequivocally proved that the blood on the sheets was menstrual. So yep, they the had report sex also shows semen samples on the sheets, as well as in the bathroom and by the kitchen sink. Well, the semen samples taken from the bathroom and by the kitchen sink had traces of blood that matched the DNA of the menstrual blood, but failed the Teichman test. It turned out to be normal blood. You've got to be kidding. Further forensic analysis using infrared sensors noticed that the blood in the bathroom and by the kitchen sink, as well as key semen, was smeared as if someone had attempted to vigorously wipe it clean. Where in the hell are you going with this, detective? Where's the body, Keith? People don't just disappear into thin air. See, here's the thing, Keith. Not only do we have all of this evidence, but we also have proof that she entered your apartment building because you just confirmed that for us on record. And yet when we went through all of the surveillance footage of your building from every possible entrance and exit point and that of the adjacent buildings, well, Lisa Frankie has never seen leaving. So I'm going to ask you one last time, and believe me when I say this, I will strip that building to its foundations. Where did you hide Lisa Frankie's body?